Okay, so this is actually like super embarrassing and I can't believe that I'm sharing this story on YouTube. However, I was at the gym the other day and I never really shower at the gym. I usually come home to do it, but I had a massage afterwards. So I was showering at the gym and I was in, it's like, it's like one of those military style showers where it's like all these little spigots all along the walls and you're all basically in one room. They never do this in women's locker rooms. Like, I don't know why they do this in men's locker rooms, but there's no curtains and everyone's like kind of just in there. And on one hand, like that's great because I really want to see it. But on the other hand, as a gay man who gets aroused fairly easily, it can be such a disaster. And so I'm in there and I'm showering, and I'm like doing my hair, like sh shampooing, and I realize that like, it, there, there's no one there. Like it's, it's like six o'clock in the morning. Like no one goes to the gym as early as I do, except for people that are like 80 or 90 years old. And the locker room is like right within my field of vision. And it occurs to me that like, oh my god, like the most inappropriate thing that could possibly happen right now is if you get hard. Like don't get hard. Whatever you do, don't get hard. And the more I thought about not getting hard, the more I could feel the blood flowing to my penis. And I was like, oh no, 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 don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. Like, don't do this. Think of your mother's pure love. Think of your grandmother's tits. Like, do what you need to do. Don't get hard right now. And of course, what happens? Like, it gets harder and harder and harder. And so then I'm doing that like pivot thing where you like rotate your hips so that your chest is kind of leaned forward and your like dick's tucked under. So that way instead of pointing out, it's like pointing down more. And I'm like doing that and I'm like, my mother's pure love, my mother's pure love, my mother's pure love. And I'm like thinking it, thinking it, doesn't matter. I was like so turned on by the naughtiness of the situation. And I like, I, there's no moral to the story other than that apparently Everyone's a freak behind closed doors and I am apparently no exception. I guess exhibitionism is my newfound fetish. I've been searching for a fetish for a very long time. I think I may have found it. It's taking showers in gym locker rooms with the thought of possibly getting caught. So I didn't get caught by the way. I like really quickly like grabbed my towel. I still had like soap in my hair like on my body. I like grabbed the towel, I wrapped it around, I tucked my dick under. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, let me just get out of here. It was pretty embarrassing. And so now for some reason I'm sharing it with you. But uh, if you can relate to my story, I, I pray to God that you can't. Uh, if you can, let me know in the comments below because that'd be kind of funny uh, if I'm not actually the only one. But yeah, other than that, uh, happy new year guys. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Peace out.